A storm surge warning remains in effect for the southernmost villages of Hatteras Island. You can see why there's still a mandatory evacuation for visitors. Tonight, parts of the Outer Banks look like a ghost town. Residents and tourists heading for higher ground. So the Carolina caused the ocean to rush across lanes of the only highway connecting the barrier islands of the Outer Banks. Officials worry the only road will be underwater, leaving those who stay trapped and cut off for days. degrees unbelievable good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel hope that you all are having a fantastic day we are on the road in the 2020 pigs on the center console savannah's in the back seat we are heading to the outer banks right now and i gotta tell you guys the trip so far has been epic it's only i mean we've gone like 100 miles but i cannot believe uh this truck i cannot believe we've gone over like i said over 100 miles and somehow we have still virtually have a full tank of fuel and it says we can go another 440 miles i mean this truck is unbelievable it is unbelievable before i can make it about two-thirds of the way there in my old truck and this one i could almost get there and back on one tank it's nuts i like having an excuse to stop though because you get to get snacks i agree there are now <laughs> we we had like because we took the same truck for years we had like our stops, you know, we had like, we would always get gas at this location and it would always have a Chick-fil-A because we would always run out of fuel at the same spot. Now we're just gonna have to pick because we're never gonna run out of fuel. I'm trying to film pig. I don't know if you guys can see the big pig, but she's loving life. You do that pig, you put that smudge on my camera. Don't blame pig. She was sniffing around. No, she wasn't. Well. She actually was. She thinks this truck is a jungle gym. Currently in Virginia, these people are slamming on the brakes. So far, the 35s and the fuel wheels are doing well. No complaints, very smooth, very nice. Great MPG, apparently. Uh, but this is kind of a bump. This is actually the first traffic we've hit. Making great time otherwise. what it is we're stopping at chick-fil-a because well it's chick-fil-a and uh we're about let's say like are we like halfway halfway we probably have maybe three four hours okay that's, that's not bad it's not bad i think we're gonna run out of daylight so we'll see you at the beach house okay and we are here and i gotta tell you it has been one of those great weeks you know it's always so nice to get away in what could be our favorite place on earth baby do you say this is our favorite place Next to Bermuda, it's it's really close between those two. But it has been an incredible week. The 2020 has done great, but the ultimate challenge is going to come today. There is a lot of flooding out there on the only road in and out of the island. So if we're gonna if we're gonna make it home, we might have to get through some water. I don't know how bad it is. It's too windy. Uh, I don't know how bad it is out there, but I know the highway was closed already, and it, I think it still is. 2020 can do it though. She can do it. I actually noticed that like I was much more kind of rested and like not as tired as I was driving my older truck. That one's just, you know, drifts a little more. This one is very solid, like right down the road the whole time. You can take your hands off the wheel for like five seconds and it doesn't go anywhere. Not that I recommend doing that. Pretty cool house though. Bobby and his fiance are also here staying with us. If you don't follow RF Racing, check them out. But we got the downstairs area, kind of like a more of like a kid's playroom. You got a pool table here, washer dryer, little like seating area. And then the best part of this house is the elevator. Now I'm not that lazy myself. Like I don't need an elevator, although it is cool, but really it comes in super handy for the dogs. We have bulldogs, not good for them to go up and down steps. The elevator makes it a breeze. Absolutely crazy. Savannah's ready. Piggy's ready. Boomer is ready. It's not our dog. <laughs> no, we did we not get another dog. dog. Let's go ahead and take this elevator to the top floor, number three. The only thing is it's not very fast. And we should be at the top floor here in a second. Two hours later. Top floor, there we go. 
Press the button again, open the door. Savannah's about to go chill on the couch here in one second. There it is. Big old kitchen here, kind of weird. There's no like island to break it up, but as you can see, we're eating really healthy. We have our PA chips, we got Oreos, we got cheese balls, burrito supplies. Uh, what are we, Krispy Kreme, <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts, uh, monsters, cotton candy, grapes. That's kind of healthy. I don't think we have anything in here. Oh, ice cream, Jimmy Dean sandwiches, Eggo, and uh, corn dogs. Our little bedroom, great views of the ocean. We are ocean front. You can open the door, look right out, see the dolphins. There's some out there right now, actually. There we go, right out front. Did bring the fan from home, a must have. Now that's when you travel, you have to remember to bring your fan if you sleep with a fan. That's big. Like you gotta you got remember to bring a fan. Saw the bottom, you saw the top. Now for the middle, uh, just a bunch of bedrooms. Bobby and Tressa are over there. But the main really good thing is we have Seinfeld playing 24 seven on a loop. Seinfeld at all times. I know, we're a little crazy. It's been beautiful here. Now, OBX, you know, North Carolina is not that far south, but it's been like 60 and sunny every day. Back in PA, <laughs> I've gotten the word from many people. I haven't even looked at the weather because I don't even, I don't even want to care, but I've gotten the word uh, from many people that it's been raining as usual and it's been really cold, like 30 degrees. Here, it has been gorgeous. I mean, look at this view. How am I supposed to leave this? Like I said, I don't know how bad the flooding is going to be, but we ain't scared. We ain't scared at all. This is crazy, <laughs> dude. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow, here comes a truck. Luckily, we have a truck. Wow. <laughs> this is wild. Look at this island. Ford is, he's like, oh my God. This whole road. <laughs> Holy cow. Somebody has to get out and get the thumbnail. Bobby. Look at Bobby, look what he's doing for you. There's my heel. <laughs> Bobby's, you gotta subscribe, you gotta subscribe. Please sub to Bobby. I'm gonna be walking like I'm in high heels. <laughs> this is gonna be Bobby, great. you're doing so good, I'm so proud. I don't wanna ruin them. Here comes don't the worry bourbon. Don't You know what, I'm just gonna go on my bare feet. Well, that's you're just gonna crazy. bare feet it? Yeah. You don't know what's in that water, dude. It could be coronavirus in there. I'm out here in the bayou. <laughs> oh my God, the boat wake. Ridiculous. That's so good. I'm so We're proud doing, of you. Dude, honestly, like I got hit by the wake of the, uh, Did the you? boat here. Yeah. can see why there's still a mandatory evacuation for visitors. The storm surge warning remains in effect for the southernmost villages of Hatteras Island. Officials worry the only road will be underwater, leaving those who stay trapped and cut off for days. This north of the evacuation zone on the Outer Banks. Storms off the coast of Carolina caused the ocean to rush across lanes of the only highway connecting the barrier islands of the Outer Banks. Take a look. This is video from viewer Tammy Rutherford from Buxton on Hatteras Island. Last Here come some power trucks. I'm assuming going to repair things. And a truck with a trailer. What if we can't get off the island? I think we can get through with a pickup truck though. We have a large truck. This could be interesting, guys. Oh Here. my god, look at it. This could be interesting. Are we allowed to go we're allowed to go through though? Okay, so I guess if you see a low car coming through, you're stopping them, though. Yeah. I can't even believe this is a thing. Yeah, I didn't know it rained that hard last night. This is crazy. This is wild, dude. What have we got up here? Somebody stopped? Maybe we could rescue someone. That is deep. It's like his wheels are turned, like he was trying to get out. Yeah, he was done, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Well, where the heck wow. is he? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you're just gonna leave it there. Is that leaning up? Yeah, that, that's gotta be inside the cab, the water. Oh, On yeah. the other side, oh yeah, definitely. That's wild. What the heck is going on? I can only imagine this is what the apocalypse is gonna look like. It's gonna be very similar to this. That was weird. It could be them. For all we know. He has a beer now, he's good. He's got a beer now. I can't believe that water park's still there. He just, the truck floods, you know, I gotta get a beer. 
this is this is wild. Whoa, twelve is closed near Salvo due to flooding. This is Highway Twelve, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, what else can we do? Where? <laughs> yeah, we're stuck. What? We're stuck. What is? What are we like, stuck? Trust's car definitely cannot. Yeah, we're not this. getting home. I don't think. I don't think you guys are getting to work. Uh. The Highway Twelve is closed. There's nothing you can do about it either. Oh my God. We're in some deep water here. <laughs> Mike and I are down here during the apocalypse. This is wild, the, dude. The, the dirt, Look at this. Yeah. There's vehicles on the side of the road, <laughs> totally abandoned, and the highway's closed, so I can't get out. That's great. That's wow. A it looks like the worst is behind us and the 2020 did really well 2020 did really well and got us out of there now to be fair i think any larger suv or truck could have done it definitely happy that we had the 2020 and it's crazy because i've thought about taking my zr1 down here many times i feel like it'd be really fun you know there's plenty of open roads to kind of stretch the legs there's lots of great photo opportunities. Kind of like the last minute, I thought, well, you know, I'll take the new truck. I can get pictures of the new truck down there as well. So I'll take the 2020 and uh, thank God I did. If the winds are like 50 at the bottom, what do you think they are up here? I don't like to, I don't like this bridge the anymore. Bridge. The old, yeah, the old bridge I was like totally okay with. I think to the top of that was crazy. It was pretty scary. Yeah, and now <laughs> look at this just, thing, it's enormous. It is scary. It's like brand new, it hasn't had a chance to like fail yet. So. Yeah. Like 200 feet in the air right now. I mean, it's I don't terrifying. like driving on the bridge at all, to be honest. This is a bird. Well, I don't know, something dead in the road. We gotta dodge it. What is it? It's like a piece of tire. Is that a bird? It's That's a bird. a bird. Yeah, it's definitely a bird. That's sad. How did a bird manage to get hit by a car up here? I have no idea why they didn't. There's another bird. Another one. Oh my god. Well, it's because of these guys. Look at them, like thinking they're so cool. Yeah, they're so cool. Until you get hit by a there's truck. There's another one. Yeah. There's another one. Oh you my guys God. are so cool. Oh there's God. one. Is that one what in there? Oh, he's like in bad shape. Babe. Well, what are we supposed do to do? Do something about it. I, what am I going to do? There's one. He's oh on my God. No, they're fine. That one. That's a piece of tire. That's not even a bird. That one. boys well we made it back and i can't say that i'm super happy to be back um i mean i like i, I have a great life i have no complaints but i would prefer to live at the beach um, but yeah the 2020 did absolutely fantastic um really comfortable to drive i hate to admit it oh somebody's home i hate to admit it for the old girl out there but the 2020 was a lot nicer on the trip it just it was a lot more comfortable it drove better. New ones have so much room and we still filled it up. I don't know how we even, I don't know how we made it work before. Babe, how do we make it work before with the old truck and packing up all the stuff? I have no idea. Yeah, she's eating a sandwich. We had a, a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we put stuff in the bed of the truck. We would put stuff in trash bags in the bed of the truck so it wouldn't get wet. Oh yeah, you're right. We did, we covered them with trash bags like, yeah. we, like we were, I don't even know what something 2020 did a phenomenal job can't wait until the next beach trip coming up hopefully soon it's not that close it's like an eight hour drive but it's not that far either like we can't you can't go there for the weekend but if you have like four or five days uh you can go now i do want to say it's been a while right it's been a, we can't even you can't yell at me for it and we're doing another one tomorrow but it's been a while i have not done a merch plug and if you guys want to win my lbz duramax 
Don't forget the giveaway is live and it's going quick. It ends, uh, it's a leap year, so we have 29 days in February, ends on the last day of February and it's, it's a much, I can tell you this, it's a much smaller giveaway than any of the ones we've done. It's faster than the other ones we've done. So it's gone quick and you got to get entered. Get something on InChainDesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is two entries, double entries until it ends to celebrate my return home. Patches, plenty of those still in stock. Something small for you to get entered. Canadian stuff. Yes, this one is open to Canadians as well. For key tags, student driver back in stock, American flag stuff, Trump stuff, Texas stuff, all kinds of American stickers. What are you doing, dude? Uh, putting in some more power, power stroke key tags. Okay, yeah. there you go. Power stroke key tags, Dirty Max, Rolling Cold, Diesel Life. Those are all brand new on the website. Every shirt has the American flag on the sleeve. Uh, we have Dirty Max, Power Stroke, Diesel Life, and Diesel Smoke Matters. That's Rolling Coal. Oh, that one too. I don't think I said that. And then down here, Diesel Smoke Matters. Tactical bags and camo. We have the tactical jackets, dark camo, desert camo. These are on the site, but if you get one, be careful. I don't want to be getting a bunch of DMs from people cutting themselves by accident. Check it out. InShaneDesigns.com. It's not here right now. It's actually getting repainted. Yeah, fully repainted. It's going to look epic. You guys are going to love it. Um, when I pulled the fender flares off, you know, the paint was all screwed up. So it's full, getting fully repainted and we have a lot more mods coming. It's got, and you guys know me, like we don't give away crap. It's, it's a great truck. One owner, 90 K miles on an LBZ, a tuned and upgraded, you know, air intake, exhaust, all that stuff, a tuned and upgraded LBZ Duramax. That thing is going to run forever. That's going to give somebody out there. One of you guys is going to have like 200,000 trouble free miles in that truck and you're gonna have a great time doing it and you're gonna look good doing it. So InChainDesigns.com, every five bucks now is two entries to win my LBZ. When you see this, you only have like, what, 19 days left. That's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this upload, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.